don't worry, this is not my return to social media. But unfortunately, I am logging in today because I feel as though I am being cornered and have to make yet another public statement. I'm finding it harder and harder to keep up with all the James Charles stuff that's going on at the moment. And I don't know if it's because I personally just find it really hard to digest or if it's because there's so many things going on, so many sides of the story, so many differing opinions that I just am confused and don't understand. And just when I think I am starting to understand what's going on, something else happens, and then I feel like I'm studying for an exam, trying to figure out what's going on. So what's today's news? Well, last night while I was asleep in my bed, James Charles took to Twitter to post a video talking about an upcoming lawsuit against him. And I, once again, was confused. I knew about this lawsuit, but I hadn't really fully looked into it just because I didn't want to, and there was other stuff going on at the time, but I've looked into it now, I've watched the video, so I am here to help you understand what's going on, because I think I finally wrapped my head around it. What's crack, it's Evangelina Skov, and today we are going to be talking about James Charles. Specifically, we're going to be talking about his response to a lawsuit against him that is coming up soon and has been ongoing for apparently two years. Now, you may have heard of this lawsuit, you may not have. It was news, if you want to call it that, but it was kind of a little bit buried because there were obviously some other things going on with James Charles at the moment. Other things so bad that my voice cracked saying that sentence. We've discussed this a little bit in previous videos but James Charles confessed to texting minors in a very, um, in a way you shouldn't be texting minors. And while he was being called out for this by multiple people, everybody was talking about it, it came out that his former producer was suing him. Now, James says that this lawsuit has been going on for two years, but it is only now reaching the public eye. And he pretty much says that it's only coming out now because the timing is convenient, because people are already talking about him and this producer, was trying to get the most attention at it, the most bad press for James at this time. Because think about it, if everybody is loving James and thinks, wow, James is so great, and a lawsuit comes out, some people are gonna be more inclined to not believe the claims of the lawsuit. However, if everybody hates James, is like, ew, trash, nasty human, lawsuit comes out, everybody goes, aha, yes, we're right, evil. Now, is this to say that the claims in the lawsuit aren't true? Absolutely not, but that is what James is saying. So let's just backtrack a teeny tiny bit so we can understand a little bit more of what is going on. Who is suing James and why? So the person that is suing him, as we already said, is a former employee whose name is Kelly Rockline. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I, I can't figure out another way to pronounce that, so I think that's the one. And she worked as James's editor for a while and then was later promoted to producer, meaning she went from just editing the videos to being there, part of the production, helping film, things like that. And why is she suing? She says for wrongful termination. She worked as James' producer for six months and then her contract was terminated. Along with that, she is also claiming mistreatment and James's failure to provide overtime payment. Now you may be asking yourself, Angelina, is this true? Are all her claims true? Do I look like a lawyer to you? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm not a lawyer. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> So my guess is as good as yours. But if this does take it all the way to court, then we will find out, I suppose, if this is the truth or not, because a verdict will be made, a judge and a jury, if the, a jury is involved with this case, I don't understand the American legal system. But a judge at least will say, hey, either James, you gotta pay up, or Kelly, shh, no. So when that happens, then we'll know. But here's an interesting thing that we need to talk about and something that James pointed out as well, is that a lot of these kinds of cases do not make it to court. Actually, a lot of cases in general do not make it to court just because it's like really expensive. <laughs> but these kind of cases generally don't make it to court because the person who is being accused will generally settle because taking it all the way to court is a lengthy process. It will take a lot of time and it will end up being more expensive for that person than just settling. However, James says he decided not to settle and that's why this has been going on for two years. But they usually don't actually make it to court, which may sound weird, but it's for two different reasons. The first one being, 
they are ridiculously long. Uh, this was filed two years ago. People are only finding out about it like now, but we are not even close to getting an actual court date yet. So it is a long, long process and quite a headache. Um, because it's so long, reason number two is it gets really, really expensive really fast for the defendant, which in this case is myself. So most of the time the defendant will settle, which basically means paying an amount of money to, ew, sorry, paying an amount of money to the person making the suit to just drop it and move on. Uh, and I'm not going to act like this was not an option for me. Uh, settling is oftentimes a good option, a smarter option, because it's faster, it's cheaper, and it's a lot less of a headache. Um, she is suing me. She has sued other YouTubers in the past. She was bragging on Twitter about how she just settled another case recently, so this is clearly a thing. Uh, but settling is no longer an option that's on the table, and I'm going to tell you why. And he also says that he is planning to take this to court because the claims are not true and, in his words, slanderous. I already did my slander libel rant in my last video. <laughs> So we're not going to do that again. Another interesting bit of backstory about this whole thing is that Kelly is not only suing James, but has actually sued Erica Costell. And this was for employee mistreatment. In that case, she actually won. Now this has people divided because some people are saying, like James is saying, oh, this is just a thing that you're doing. You're just suing former employers without any basis, you won the first one, now you're feeling lucky. And I'm pretty sure James' words about this was, oh, so that's clearly a thing for you. But other people are just saying, this is a person who worked with some famous people, wasn't treated right, and is taking legal action, which is her right to do. Again, do I know whether this is true or not? No, not a lawyer, wasn't there. But a lot of people do believe Kelly and you can actually read all these documents online. These are all available publicly. So if you wanna read those, you can. I'm not gonna go through them, not a lawyer. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say I'm not a lawyer, but don't because drink responsibly. Moving on from that though, James thinks that Kelly is actually trying to, in his words, blackmail him and pressure him to settle. And you might be asking why? Well, because according to him, Kelly has been talking to some news outlets and has been making things up about James to try and make him look bad. This past week, I was reached out to for comment about a news article that is coming soon. Uh, and I learned that she is talking to the press about this lawsuit and what it was like to work for me as an employee. However, she's adding a ton of absolutely ridiculous, absurd, untrue, defamatory, just the, the craziest claims you could ever imagine. Uh, and in my opinion, it's an attempt to pressure me into making a much, much higher settlement offer. Once again, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. So James said this was stuff like him saying the N word all the time, that she had to get him out of bed because he wouldn't get up and she had to make him brush his teeth, that she did everything for him and a bunch of other things. And apparently that article will actually be coming out soon. So when it's out, you can read it. If there's something particularly interesting, I'll probably make a video. If not, then I won't. <laughs> but James does stand on the point of this not being true, that all the claims are, that are gonna come out in this article are just completely untrue. And again, he thinks that this is all just an attempt to make him settle, to pressure him to want to settle so it's all over. And so Kelly does not speak to the press and this article does not come out. Those are the main and important points and there are other things that I could go into, but that's just sort of the basis of what's going on. But I do want to talk about what people have to say about this, what people's opinions are, what they think about the whole situation. Because like we already said, there's a lot going on with James at the moment anyway. Obviously the texting minor saying that's a big issue. He hasn't been really online much because he's dealing with that whole thing with the texting minors thing and people hate him right now. And also a weird thing happened a couple of days ago where an old account of his, which is confirmed to be an old account of his, tweeted the N word, I think at Jeffree Star. And people really thought that this was James that he'd gone back into this old account and had tweeted this. But James claims that he was hacked, the account was hacked, he hasn't used it in years and he didn't tweet that, which I'm inclined to believe because the account is called James Charles. He's already in trouble. Why would he, why would he tweet that? That's just, it doesn't make sense to me that he would actually tweet that. It seems like something that would happen if your account got hacked. I'm not gonna show the tweet, obviously, but you can find it, no problem, online. But despite all of this stuff going on, there are a lot of people who are still supporting James, who still just wanna see him back, who aren't mad at him for the texting thing, who don't believe Kelly and all of this. If you go onto his tweet, you can see a lot of comments of support, like this one here. So sorry this is happening to you. I've been watching you for the past three years and want you to know your true followers, know your integrity and what you stand for. When people do things out of spite, it always comes back full circle. Remember, after storm comes the rainbow. 
Illy. I'm sorry. I hate that. Something you need to know about me is I really hate inspirational quotes. Like I hate them. They just make me feel not, not good. I know there's some people's thing. That's fine. That can be your thing. I just do not like them. <laughs> they make me cringe. And other comments like, I'm so sorry, Charles. Charles. <laughs> I didn't just realize that till I started reading it. Okay. I just can't imagine what you must be feeling. My love is out to you. And I know in the end, justice will be served. But of course, there are a lot of people who just want James to go away because obviously, for very obvious reasons, they're not happy with his behavior. This one person says, stinking up my timeline, please go back into that cave you crawled from. How many times you've been cancelled or been in a sister scandal? Too damn many. You can't just get away with every damn thing. Now on James's tweet itself, there's actually a lot more support than there is the the opposite of support. What word am I looking for? I, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm definitely looking for a word that means the opposite of support. Anyway, a lot more support than there is not support. But on Twitter as a whole, from what I can see, there's a lot more people not supporting. What is the word I'm looking for? Oh, God damn it, my brain. <laughs> Please comment the word that I'm looking for. Dear Lord, I feel dumb. <laughs> I did say at the start of this video that I'm pretty dumb, so all full circle. But we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Really, that's just gonna be it. James says he's gonna be taking this to court. So once there's a verdict in 2,500 years, then we'll know. Maybe YouTube won't even be a thing by then. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's gonna be it from me for now. I do have some news coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, might need you guys' help with some stuff. But anyway, aside from that, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation as usual. And if you don't want to comment about that, then leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite kind of coffee is. Mine depends on my mood. <laughs> I do like, you know, just a regular like Americano. I do quite like a cappuccino. At the moment, uh, I'm drinking a lot of iced coffee because it's really, really hot. <laughs> it's really hot where I am. <laughs> okay, it's not that I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's only like 25 degrees or something, but it's still hot, okay? It just happened out of nowhere. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me for now. So like I said at the start of the video, I think I said that at the start of the video. I can't remember if I did. Please subscribe, please do that and click that little bell button right beside the subscribe button so you can get notifications when I upload. Thank you very much. And please, if you would like to check out the Patreon or the memberships with the links in the description, you get fun different benefits like on the patreon you get the exclusive podcast where i talk about things in my life or i talk about drama things like eugenia cooney gabby hannah stuff like that and with both those you get things like bloopers videos so do check those out would love to have you in those communities and you can also follow me on social media like comment share and do all the things that i'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video and have a wonderful day thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye